And then on the other side, you've you got players that give it their all, like Dupree McBrayer, a senior from Queens. He's done, and they're also going to put back Jordan Murphy, back spasms and all. I said this at the beginning of the half. He's never missed a practice, the senior from San Antonio. He's never missed a game. The lowest number of minutes he's ever played for the Golden Gophers, 12. Tonight, he has played, what, just four Four because, minutes and nine because seconds. These, this yeah, is yeah. awesome by Coach Patino it right sure here. sure is. To give this young man who has meant so much to this Minnesota program another chance just to be on the floor during this moment. George picks up the foul as Coffey was driving. And now you hear the Minnesota faithful giving him his due, chanting his name. The emotions have to be running high. Absolutely, as the freshman comes in. Murphy's gone, a, and here come the tears. Yes. Well, he wanted to give him a curtain call. That's yeah, a classy move. That was. That is so, wonderful move. so classy by Coach Patino. Second leading rebounder in Big Ten history. Second team all Big Ten this year for the third consecutive year in Big Ten history. He trails, as I mentioned this earlier, only Jerry Lucas of Ohio State. You talk about a flagship player and who you try to build around and that's exactly what Richard Patino tried to do but this is a these are the moments we saw him the other night we yeah, see him again difficult. tonight it's so I mean they're difficult. heartbreaking but for him and what he has meant to go for nation I mean you, you just listed the numbers never missing a practice never missing a game showing up Here's the emotions now for Amir Coffee. Amir Coffee. Yeah. Left everything out there on the floor. Well, that's I'm, one of the amazing things about this tournament. You see such joy on the one end, mm -hmm. and then on the other end, you have guys like Murphy. Their careers are ending. For everybody else, the season is ending. The agony of defeat. Joined by his parents, Phil and Stephanie Adams. His brother, Jordan his sister Jalen, and his grandmother Doreen Hudson. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Adams! Josh Adams goes to center court, kneels down, and kisses the Bucky horse. Here's the first one. And it's gonna be Gavin Schilling. This is cool. Kind of in the spirit of the Spartans, might as well do a push up <laughs> while you're following in on the tradition as well. All right, they need another foul. All right, here's number two. Ben Carter's turn. Save the most emotional for last, I think. Now shoot one of the free throws first. First practice at Michigan State tore up his knee. A grueling year of rehab, a year as mostly a practice player this year. And still, he gets his moment, too. Make here. Come on, Devante. Yes. Now Tum Tum Nairn's turn. And Tom Izzo's going to have a tough time. Tom's going to be crying, I guarantee he is. Yep. It's hard to explain what this kid has meant to this program.
Those are two. Straight NCAA tournaments. He's a bronze medal winning representative of Team USA at the Pan Am Games. He has too many individual honors to read off here, but know that he is a leading contender for first team All-America and all the National Player of the Year awards. Most important, he is one of the hardest working, kindest, and most caring student athletes ever to don the Pirates uniform. He's an incredible teammate, a fierce competitor, and a fan favorite. This year, he will graduate with his degree in social and behavioral sciences. He is the first member of his family to do so, escorted by his mother, Jeanette Moore, and father, Noel Powell, proudly hailing from Trenton, New Jersey, number 13. He is Miles Powell. Congratulations again to all the Seton Hall senior class of 2020. off this court for the last time. Yeah. 